And you're saying that our intelligence agencies were so thoroughly compromised that we had no idea a massive chemical weapons processing plant was operating in London. What you misunderstand, Minister, is that Sadiq had been one of our own in MI6. We thought we'd cleaned house after his defection. Define cleaned house for me, would you? We vetted his known associates and dismissed six of them. Four others were kept on under observation. One was later dismissed. Electronic security countermeasures were instituted and his documents, of course, deactivated. Beyond that... And yet, he still managed to slip enough Iranian chemical weapons components into the heart of the city to gas a half a million people? 200,000, Minister. Not the point. I want your organization scrubbed, top to bottom, and I want you to have started yesterday. Am I clear? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Sinistrain 01, your host, Tom Clancy, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Perfectionist Ghost Walkthrough. Now, um, normally what I'm going to start doing for every mission is uh, doing a blind walkthrough to show you um, how I'm learning the level and kind of go through it first and then do the run through. However, um, this mission, um, there's not really a great a way for you to do it fast. And it's one of those missions that's actually really difficult to do it completely ghost. And um, I, I just want to do one video for this mission, so this is going to be a mixture of both. This is going to be me taking my time through certain parts of the level where I actually have to take out every single soldier. And there are two parts in the level mainly where you have to take out everyone. If you do not, you will get Panther. The game automatic automatically forces Panther on you unless you go around and stealth take out every single enemy. Now, because of this, we're going to be taking our time and we're going to be showing you a lot of the level and, and all that kind of stuff. So I figure this is going to be a mixture of the two. We're going to try to get a good, decent time. However, I'm not expecting to get at the very, very top of the leaderboard, number one, number two, or whatever. Um, I am just expecting to hopefully get a, a decent time, but um, it's still going to be um, slow and we're still going to have to take out lots of soldiers and stuff. And I do apologize, but I promise we'll pick up the two different separate run-throughs um, on the next mission. But this one, we're going to uh, strictly keep it to just one, and uh, we're going to try to do this. So hopefully uh, you guys will appreciate it. We are not on the leaderboards right now, so we can't check out um, any of the scores or anything like that, as Carrie is playing Saints Row 4 right now. We will have that walkthrough up for you guys very soon um, when I finish Splinter Cell. That way you guys have something else to look at. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Let's go time. What the hell did we just do? We found documents. We didn't prove Iran was involved with the blacklist. Well, they don't seem to be too concerned with the details. Bogus documents are not. Congress wants blood, and all they can see is Iran. Caldwell's gonna declare war unless we can give her another solution. That mean we don't have one? No. We have this. The old U.S. Embassy in Iran, isn't that... Quds Force HQ now? Hell of an ambitious up for Caldwell. It isn't her op. It's mine. So what? Well, we just don't tell her that we're going into Iran, the President of the United States. This is your plan. This is risky, Grim. Even for us. It's the only way to stop a war. Yeah, or we'll start one. We'll go for Tehran. This operation has to happen fast, so fast our own government doesn't know we're on the ground. I think I'm gonna be sick. Focus, Charlie. Can we get a drone in the air without it attacking us? I killed the exploit the engineers used last time. I added a verification layer and I threw in a hardware kill switch. Yes, would have been fine, Charlie. Where do you want Briggs? He's out. You're gonna do this alone? What's our way in? Show me. Not what. Who? I'm sending it to your opsat. This is one of the most secure buildings on the planet. There is no way- Getting in isn't going to be the hard part. The Qud servers are air-gapped. We have to physically pull the data? I'm sending the hardware specs to your workstation. But we can't just- Less no, more go, Charlie. Disruption is the only way you'll get in and out of Qud's HQ alive. EMPs catch enemies by surprise, and the tri-rotor can turn the tables on an ambush. All right, so. We're changing things up a little bit. We've got more of the urban kind of camo going on. 
Um, I love the detail, how it actually has the Camelback in the back, which is uh, your water supply, and you can see it goes to the front, and uh, you can easily take a sip whenever you're getting dehydrated. Really cool stuff that they actually uh, decided to put that detail in there. Um, so what we're doing is, again, we're going to be completely stealthy. We're going for a complete ghost walkthrough. So um, what ghost means is that you're just not detected in this game. So it doesn't necessarily mean you can't take enemies out. It just means you're not detected. There's three different ways, and it actually shows you. The three goggles are ghost. The, uh, the little kind of claw is the panther. And then I'm not really sure what the assault looks like because we haven't done assault. But... Um, we're going for ghosts. So we are going to be taking out a lot of enemies in this level, but we are going to be leaving a lot of enemies as lone, alone as well. So it's kind of a mixture of both. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy, and uh, let's do it. Boro. Ajalekon. چه تو احمق؟ He's taking a nap. Good to meet you, General. I don't talk to American spies. Not even when they have a targeting solution on your wife and child. I mean, that is them that just came off the market, right? Looks like Gorma Samsi for dinner tonight. You bastard! <laughs> Take a deep breath and think this through. <laughs> I need to get inside QF headquarters. I need answers. We have nothing to do with the blacklist. It's going to take more than your word to stop a war. Get me inside. Put this in your ear. All right, so this part we're actually going to not take too much time. We're going to get through it pretty quickly. But there's really only one extra route that you can take to get through this here. If I see you harming a single one of my men, I'm not here to hurt anyone. Keep moving. Sam, it looks like the bluff worked. Confirm we are go. Go. Is that for me or your American minders? It's for you to know I'm not alone. Kind of you. Sam, when you get inside, access their servers. Plug in that flash drive I gave you. It's tricked out to pull everything they've got on the blacklist. Copy. All right, plus this also grants you some exploration points as well. There's not really too much to this outside. It's been a long time since an American had the nerve to set foot here. Love what you've done with the place. Yes, we've made some improvements since 79. <laughs> All right. Couple of exploration points over here. I'm in the parking garage, General. phrase the general used in the security room isn't consistent with his usual diction. Could be a code. SMI gives it a 37% probability. Watch your back. So you could probably even get through there a lot faster by just taking the normal route and just, you know, making your way around guards, using distractions, whatnot. شما فرمودید که اینجا بیام باید با سرهنگ ملوف صحبت کنید از اون بخواین تا یه نسخه از آخرین گزارش رو به شما بده و اون رو روی میز من بذارید و اگه اونجا نبود جنرال؟ چشم به من اعتماد کنید برو فالو می کنید در سرفیلنس و نیتو کنید در سرفیلنس و نیتو کنید در سرفیلنس و نیتو کنید 
I'm carrying only disables it for a short time. Why are you taking me through heavy surveillance? Because you've left me no other option. It's our only way through. Through where? Holding cells. Where we would keep people like you interfering in our affairs. I'm here to stop a war between our two countries. Says the man with a UAV flying over Iranian airspace. And sometimes there's no time to negotiate. Spoken like a true soldier. Ladies first. Just this door. And now the trickiness begins. Why'd you stop? Because I would rather have my family die than to have them live as traitors. There's a fine line between stupid and brave, General. Americans, <laughs> you think you invented bravery? You guys must be the cleanup detail. Racing around, pointing your guns, threatening innocent people. You have no idea how to stop the blacklist, do you? I will teach you how to deal with terrorists. Grim, now. <laughs> All right, so you got to get up super fast, and this is the tricky part. You can actually get by all these enemies. However, you're automatically going to get Panther, so that is why we need to take every single one of them out. It's not that difficult to do, but we need to wait until the uh, alarm level is down a little bit, so we can uh, continue to get stealth, because this is Ghost. So you need stealth he knockouts. So that's the kind of the cue that you can Spread actually start way. doing this. Wait here, and we're gonna switch to sleeping gas. All right, that leaves one more soldier. And actually, we can have a little fun with this one. Let's do a proximity shocker. You see a body? You better hurry up and get in here. Come on, buddy. Oh! <laughs> All right. Sorry, I like that a little fun. But that's the only way you're going to be able to stay stealth. As you can see, we're still ghost, and we're going to keep going. Otherwise, you're going to get Panther, and you won't get as many points. And we don't want Panther anyways. Not on this walkthrough. Charlie, help too. He hacked Fritz security to kill main power. You've got a brief window to reach the server vault before backup generators kick in. Okay, I see an elevator, but it's sealed off. You don't have the RFID tag to get through. But the guards do. Alright, so we're gonna have to use one of the guards to be able to get through to the next section. Huh. Alright, we're gonna wait for this guard here. Make sure you grab this pipe for more exploration points. Power's back online. They're locking down the stairs. As soon as these guys are gun done talking, you're gonna follow this guy into there or else you will not be able to get in. There you have it. Now the tricky part. Grim, heading to vault level. Sit rep. Monitoring their commo. They're calling in a quick reaction force. They'll be sweeping the building for you floor by floor. Copy that. Charlie, walk me through the decryption vault. There's a search algorithm on the portable drive I gave you. It'll find and pull anything they've got on Sadiq or the blacklist. Plug it in and it should rip the data. Should? It will. It, it will. Alright, so this is another section where we have to take everyone out, or it's automatically going to give us Panther if we try to Sam, get by. you're coming up on the signals vault. you got a couple of options. A 
Okay, quiet, you go through the cooling system underneath the vault. Loud, you go through the terminal at the back of the room and hack the vault door open. Of course, quiet. we're gonna go stealth. But we will have to take every single soldier out. And there's a dead drop in this area as well. Now remember, you need uh, this guard to be able to get through. Again, as I said, you must take every single soldier out if you want to stay a ghost. Alright, so actually we're going to go ahead and drop the body. We want to uh, eliminate some stuff here real quick. Not you sleeping gas. <laughs> I thought I switched, but I guess I didn't do it in time. Go ahead and take out these lights here. There is where we need to head inside, but we can't get in there just yet. some extra points climb through here اونجا چی کار میکنن سرباز واقعی از این کارا نمیکنن اونا سرباز نیستن تهدیدگرن یا همچین چیزی اونا باعث ننگ این یونیفورمن اونا باید برای جنگ آماده باشن به نظرم اگه این کارو نکنن بهتر باشه اعتراف میکنم که احساس تو رو دارم من اون رو لعنت نمیکنم make you do that quickly That's where the dead drop is, right there. All right, so we got most of the uh, most of the soldiers out that we needed. You gotta vent the coolant gas first, Sam. Access control should be nearby. And we're gonna set things up for the rest of the soldiers. There's two possible outcomes that they could do. I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but uh, we're going to prepare ourselves for both. I actually prefer the, the glitch kind of way because all the enemies will stay in one area and you can use your tri-rotor and take them all out really stealthy. It's kind of kind of funny how they're all like lined up for you, but it doesn't necessarily happen all the time, so I don't know if it's going to happen. All right, so before we head up there to our where we need to be right there, we're going to go over here and we're going to take out a few more lights. Lights out. Sweet. Alright, that's about all the lights you need to take out. Alright, it's time to do this. Make sure you got the right weapon here, uh, sleeping gas. All right. Okay. Now before you go complete the objective, you want to grab them and you want to throw them down here. Make sure that you're running and that you're still kind of in the area the way you'll you'll get all the way down. Now, as far as this guy goes, you actually have to uh, take him a little closer because we can't get to where we need to. So then you can drop him right here. However, it would make sense that we'd just be able to climb over there, but you can't really do that. All right, so then guards are going to be coming through that door. Drive is live. But it just depends on if it glitches or not.
All right, we need to get these bodies over there. All right, looks like they're coming through. All right, so the glitch didn't happen this time. All right. So unfortunately, we won't be able to do the tri rotor trick, which is a uh, pretty funny. All right, two more soldiers left. The tri rotor will not work on the heavy right here. Nothing will work on the heavy, except to actually... Well, actually, I think the only thing that you could really use is the old shoot the helmet and then sticky camera thing, but I think that's a little too tricky to pull off, so we're not going to worry about it. Alright, let's see, what can we do? Where's he at? There he is. Gotcha. All right. I've got the drive. And this uh, makes it to where you don't have to worry about Panther now because you will get Panther if you make it past all those enemies. And I have done this. I've done this without taking anyone out. But, of course, you know, we don't want Panther in this walkthrough. This part you gotta be really fast. Grim, schematics show what I'm walking into. Negative, Sam. It's drawing blank on the SMI. Stick to this corner here. Get over here. Alright, we're almost home free. Not too much longer left. Let's make sure we got whatever we want. Sleeping gas. Uh, we'll stick with the sleeping gas. We're not. We're not going to be taking the door. We're going to be finding another route. Until that guard turns around there, the heavy. You can barely see it. There's a crate right over there. And that's where we're gonna take. All right, so far so good. Let's keep it up. It's only gonna get a little trickier up here. Cool thing is you can actually get more points if you go ahead and take this target out, so we're going to do that. See it's 225. 
Make sure you can pick up the body. You can see there's a bin that you can hide the body in, and you get 50 extra points for the bin. Get up here for some exploration. All right, so we're going to leave all these enemies alone. All right, wait till this guy passes you. Get up here quickly because there's going to be another heavy there's a heavy guard right there and he'll be able to see if you're not actually up here of course we want to wait for mr splinter cell right there to turn around all right so this is also where the laptop is it's inside that room right there just gonna wait until the Mr. Splinter Cell turns around. Like I said, inside this room right there is where the laptop is. Area's clear. I hear you. Check the next area. Area clear. Not too much longer and we're done with this mission. Shut this door behind you. Alright, so this this next part can go two ways. You can sneak by this guard, or you can take him out. Either way, you uh, you have to do something, because you have to go through the door so you can get through, since it's another one of those kind of doors. But you can actually do it, you just got to do it really fast. Ah, we weren't fast enough. See what I mean? Alright, go ahead and take him out. I'm in the foyer, headed out of the building. Sam, there's a security gate on your exfil route through the gardens. You should be near a security control room. Access the terminal <laughs> inside and we'll override the doors. Don't even ask me why his body just completely disappears. I hopefully hopefully that counts for hiding the body. <laughs> Let me take a look and see what it lets me access. Oh, nice. All right, I got this, Sam. Just give me a minute and I'll open up an exit for you. Grim, where are we with Exville? Still working on it. Shit. What's happening? We've got even more reinforcements inbound. Charlie, you need to move faster. I'm working on it. Any word from the Iranian military? That's what's odd. Channels are clear. We keep it internal. To avoid embarrassment. You still need to get out now, Sam. You're dealing with Iranian special forces, and you're out of time. Talk about timing. All right, you're clear, Sam. Security gates are open. All right, make sure you uh, on my way. flip the light switch off. I'm get the hell out of here. Because if you want to get by these guys without taking them out, you have to have it off. Just be nice and slow. There's no reason to rush here. Alright. Reinforcements coming in, Sam. Where are we with Xville? Briggs is en route in a van. Briggs? We'll fight about it after he gets you the hell out of there. Meet him on the far side of the exterior garden. Alright, high value target's gonna be around this corner here. I'll point him out for you, right there. That is your high value target. You can actually hide his body for some more points when you take him out. All 
Alright, switch to your silenced pistol. Shoot this right here. Oh. Alright, this part's a little more trickier. We got a dog up ahead. Actually helps to make sure you got a noisemaker. Alright, we got him. I was close though. Hit it. UAV shows a dozen plus vehicles racing to your position. So that's why we had to do that. Um, that dog makes it really hard to get by completely stealthy. So hopefully you, uh, you guys like that and we got one more part left. Which is a really cool part though. Another wave of enemy vehicles closing on you. Ah, I need to find a way around them. The only way out is through them. What do you mean? Bring in the drone lower. Radar will pick it up. That's the least of our problems. AGM missiles online. Negative. Repeat negative. I'll trace it back to the US. Grim! Weapons hot on the UAV. Grim, I hope you know what you're doing. Vehicle is down. Enemy vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Another SUV down. Vehicle is out. Hostiles eliminated. Shit, we're getting noticed. I mean, I'm not so great with Farsi, but Iranian military bands are lighting up. Won't be long till their air defenses are deployed. Hostiles eliminated. Vehicle is down. Hostiles eliminated. Vehicle is down. Pursuit vehicles are jammed up. You're clear. I'll see you back on the plane. Alright, let's see how we did. Sweet. Alright, so we mastered Ghost, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. No Panther, and that's the only way you're ever going to be able to finish that mission uh, with full Ghost and no other points, so keep that in mind. I love the zeros on the panther and the zeros on the assault. Alright, let's see how we did. 27 minutes, alright. It's not too bad. Already got 9,000 bonus points. 12 hidden paths. Sweet. All right, 29,667. Fire transfer received. All right, so we're not online. I'm going to try to uh I'm going to try to get online here real quick. Hopefully it doesn't kick Carrie off of her Saints Row and uh, find out how we did. If not, we'll have to find out maybe in another video. Oh, sweet. Okay. 29667. Number 3. All right. There you go, ladies and gents. 29667 gets you third place. Um, yeah, again, we didn't skip any cutscenes, and the one with the general down there was probably at least a minute a minute or so. And then, of course, uh, the grim cutscene there. And, yeah, so that we probably could get down to maybe close to somewhere around there. Other than that, I really don't have any other methods for getting by uh, faster than that. But I'm guessing it's just really time that's keeping us. Um, maybe uh, we could have 
tried a little bit harder to not take out the dog and that last enemy, but that's really, really difficult, and I don't have that time and patience to go through it many, many times right now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we are going to keep going. Number two, or excuse me, number three is in a bad place to be on this mission, and of course it still took a little bit of time for you guys, so you guys got to see a lot of the level, and we had to go around and stealthily take out every single soldier. So let's continue on. I know that an unauthorized drone strike was... There was no drone strike. There was a very unfortunate drone malfunction. Of course. There is a reason you're on that plane. I need you to be my eyes and ears on this mission. I am, Madam President. Not if I can't trust you. Come on. You couldn't have been expecting a thank you. You would have done the same thing in my position. Gambled with the war to save your life? I did what I did for the sake of the mission. I guess the President's not the only one with a good cover story. The data we found clears Iran of any involvement with the blacklist. That's not my point. I know your point. You think I made a bad call, just like Briggs did in London, right? The decisions we're forced to make are not always black and white, Sam. They just can't be personal. Really? Then lead by example. We both know damn well you'd risk everything if Vic's life had been on the line. Vic has nothing to do with this. He's the only reason you're on this plane. The only thing you value more than the job? The team. Graham. Thank you. You want to thank me, talk to Briggs. We need him if we're going to pull through this one. Hey, guys, that tracker on the chemical weapon, it's almost on U.S. soil. Oh, snap. Ooh, transit yards. Looks like that's the next mission up. We've got two hours until the next blacklist attack. So we've got, probably got an action-packed episode coming up. Let's talk to some of our constituents. Hey, Sam. Briggs. Nice work on the ground. You didn't even want me on the op, Sam. I know. You made a ballsy call. Just like London, right? Look. Forget about London. I need you back on the blacklist. What? I can train you to make the right call about risking your life to go with your gut. No one can teach that. Be good, right? <laughs> was that like a double clap? <laughs> it's like someone. Oh my gosh, that was so weird. It was like someone uh, in the sound department said, "Let's let's have let's take a slapstick and let's uh, put it together and see what it sounds like." <laughs> oh shit, son! All right, so. Yep, there you go. I don't still know why it says um, 98.8 and then 1.2% ghost. That should be completely 100%. Every mission we've done has been only ghost. Oh, well. But um, everything we've done so far, 666, six missions. Uh, all mastered. All great so far. Let's see, as far as challenges, we got some more stuff. Um... Everything else I think is all right. Uh, transit yards. Oh, so we can look at. Okay, so this one maybe not as much. Um, I got one of our, my friends at 19 minutes and 10 seconds. So we'll see if we can uh, beat that on the more, the faster run through. Uh, let's see what else. Social feed. A couple of challenges. Let's see what these are. Speed run safe house. Complete the safe house as fast as you can. Send a strain one, two, three. Okay. So he must have. Oh, that guy's the one who sent me some challenges, I guess. Alright. And of course, we got Shatternet, Ghost Challenge, Abduction KOs, Abduct and Non Lethal Takedown, 25 enemies from cover, Weekly Challenge. All right. Let's uh, let's go talk nice to Charlie. Work, <laughs> Sounds like I've got work to do. He kind of reminds me of um, what's his name from Mass Effect Two. Um, the other guy that was with Shepard or whatever. When this was when you were working for Cerberus. Charlie. Hey Sam, I finally scrubbed all that data you pulled from Tehran. Get anything on the blacklist? 
Quds Force had a kill order out on Sadiq. I don't think your buddy the General was lying. In the bad news department, our trace on Nuri's phone went gonzo all of a sudden. We'll dig him up. Great. Well, then we just have to worry about the holy shit, what the hell are we gonna do department. The chemical weapons we tracked from London, they're in the States. Charlie, that's a good thing. Means our plan's working. Man, I'd hate to see what your definition of bad is. All right. Of course nice work, we... Charlie. I'll uh, keep you posted, Sam, on everything. All right, so um, I'm probably going to finish the regular single-player game first, and then we're going to be doing co-op. Um, I'll probably have the best gear for the co-op missions. I'd rather do co-op a little later. Let's see what our friend in the holds is doing. You know, I did a lot of business with Iran back in the day. Glad I'm not losing a supplier. You're a hell of a guy, Coben. Come on. Capitalism was around long before I showed up. Besides, compared to some of the other assholes in my line of work, I'm a saint. Compared to anyone else, you're an asshole. <laughs> Man, you really don't like him. I think we're good. <sighs> you're a real buzzkill, Fisher. Like he says, you're a real asshole, and then he's like, uh, uh, I think we're done here. <laughs> In a nice tone. Alright, I don't see anything back behind here. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're probably already hitting up close to 30 minutes, so we'll talk to Grim, Sarah, and then we're done. Heard a gas leak caused a huge explosion in downtown Tehran. Apparently we were never there. The truth isn't going to make anyone look good. Don't know if they're going to let this slide. If we didn't stop the war, we at least delayed it. it. Bought us enough time to figure out who's behind the blacklist. Good work, Grim. I've got a few simulations to run. I'll check in with you later. All right, so we've already got all the plane upgrades. Hello? Dad? Hey, I just wanted to call, see how you were. I don't know, scared? The blacklist thing's ticking down, so people are going nuts. Everybody's hiding in their basements. Well, there are worse places to be right now. Are we going to war with Iran, Dad? Because that's what everybody's saying. Kind of depends on the president, how fast she reads what Grimm sent her. Did you guys? No, I'm not going to ask. Good. Oh, before I forget, Uncle Vic sends his best. He's awake? You talked to him? For like five minutes before they put him under again. He's... he's in a lot of pain. But he said to tell you that he'd be back. And that you owe him a beer. Yeah, that sounds like Vic. Yeah, it's good to hear. But hey, sweetheart. I need you to do me a favor, okay? Stay home tomorrow. I... I will. Good. Dad, I... I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But do this for me, please. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this video. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed. Sorry we couldn't get two videos in there, but um, we will definitely try that for the next mission. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bitches!